Hello everybody. So you may have seen earlier, I made a video talking about what positions I think were going to be strengthened. And apparently the club have been listening to me because today the East Anglian Times and reporter Stuart Watson have reported that Wickham were one of three clubs, including Derby County and Charlton Athletic, who have made a loan offer for young centre midfielder Idris El Mizuni. So I thought I would take a look at the player, see what he's done, what sort of player he is, and if he was to join us, what he could potentially bring to our team. Now, this is going to be in no way exhaustive. I've not watched every match he's played in this season, but I've went, I've looked up all the statistics and figures I could find, which for League 1 is not very extensive, and League 2, sorry. And I just want to sort of have a general guess at what he will bring to the team. So first things to mention is, obviously, Matt Bloomfield is a former Ipswich player. He never played for the senior team, but he came out of their youth academy. And if you may all remember, Scott Mitchell joined from Ipswich at the start of the summer. Now, he was first team scout. He was head of emerging talent and head of the academy recruitment in which Idris El Muzuni came through. So you would hope that potentially may give us a leg up in bringing him in. So he was on loan at Leighton Orient where he played 41 games as Leighton Orient got promoted. He did, as far as I'm aware, very very well. His main problem is that Ipswich do have a very very strong midfielder and they recently signed another Peterborough midfielder just I believe yesterday so he's unlikely to break into their t team in their maiden championship season. So they're looking for a loan for him. So, I'm going to compare him. I'm going to do defensively and offensively. For defensive, I'm going to compare him to Josh Gowan. And offensive, I'm going to compare him to Lewis Wing. He is a centre mid or a centre defensive mid, so I think that's fair to compare him to two. So, he makes 2.9 tackles, 1.7 interceptions, and 1.3 clearances per game. To give you a standard, Josh Gowan, who we can all admit is very, very good defensively, made 3.5 in tackles per game, 1.7 interceptions per game, or 1.9 interceptions per game, and 2.4 clearances per game. So Idris El Mazzuni at the age of 23 is actually very close to matching a very strong ball winner, which is actually really quite good for us. He would give us potentially somebody who is a like-for-like -like replacement if Josh Gowan is to get injured. He is also, as of March 22nd, one of only six players in the entirety of the EFL to win a hundred plus tackles. So he does seem very, very solid defensively. So for score mentioned that one of his biggest strengths that makes him stand out from the rest of his peers in League Two was his tackling and his defensive work. So we would be bringing in somebody who's hardworking, who's willing to drop back defensively, who's willing to do a lot of the the hard work back in the centre defensive mid, which is something that we would look to do, especially if we play a 4-2-3-1 or even a 3-5-2. But offensively is where I think, not necessarily just in goals, but in other attributes where he really comes to the fore. So the first thing is he got two assists and three goals in 41 matches, which is pretty good for a centre midfielder. Now, Lewis Wing did get nine goals and five assists, but Lewis Wing also had an end of a foot from both set pieces and from long shots. So Lewis Wing better in terms of pure goals and assists. However, he Idris Admel and Mazzuni makes 52.8 passes per game, of which 83.6% are accurate. I've been looking at the stats for a lot of players we've been linked to for the video I did about different targets, and this is the highest pass completion stat I've seen for basically any player. He makes 84% of them in his own half, and a, and a very, very high 70-90% of passes he makes in the opposition half are made successfully, which is very, very good. And for Matt Bloomfield, who does look to be playing a more possession-based system, more passing triangles, trying to maybe hold possession a bit more, trying to open up different angles of passing, Idris El Mazzuni looks to suit that to a T. 
he makes 0.5 key passes per game. So for Lewis Wing, Lewis Wing made on average 35.3 passes per game, of which just 68% were accurate. Edris Al Mazzuni made more accurate passing, 13%, an extra 13% of the time. And on average, made what's that another 18 passes per game which is very very impressive and compound that with the fact he's nearly as good defensively as Josh Garrett but also very very good at passing and better so than Lewis Wing and we would have a very solid centre mid or centre defensive mid who can sort of do everything he can dictate tempo up front and he can drop back and do the hard yards. Now, one thing, he is not a playmaker as sorts. And he's not going to be finding those killer balls as such. He makes 0 0.5 key passes per game compared to Lewis Wayne's 1.2 key passes per game. However, at the age of 23, that is something that you could look to improve. Lewis Wing was, I believe, 28. Josh Gowan's 29. This Lad is still young. Some of the things I mentioned, he is in the final year of his contract. However, Ipswich do have a, an extension, I believe. So it would be theoretically possible for if Idris El Mazzuni had a very successful season to potentially buy him. If he had a very successful season and he had no interest in renewing with Ipswich, they'd probably extend it and then try and sell him on. And... If he had a successful season with us, we may potentially do that. That is something that we have done historically. Dominic Gape, um, McCarthy, um, Thompson, I believe, all came in on loan. And then we bought them permanently. After they proved himself, Idris El Mazzuni could be a potential opportunity like that. He does look like, to be honest with you, a very good player. He's one that I've said multiple times on Twitter. You know, this is somebody we should be interested in either for buying or for a loan. I would be more than happy with a loan here because I think he is of the calibre to not only rotate in the squad. I think he could start for us and play very, very well. I don't think there's many players in League 1 and 2 that can match both passing and tackling and defensive work to a high stand like Idris El Mazzuni would. So that is exciting. That is something that we do have to look forward to. I do hope to see him in. Um, but we've seen obviously that there's been reported bids and now we are in a position where we just have to wait to see what happens. If you think he would be a good signing, do let me know. Um, if you don't, let me know as well. I think he'd be excellent, but that's my opinion. But have a great day.